Hi there, my name is Sarah Pimentel and I'm the studio membership coordinator. This is the fourth video of a series. So if you'd like to watch the previous videos then head over to our YouTube channel and click on the playlist called Member Self-Service Portal. This is a video for artists who are interested in selling their work. After an exhibition is over, your work is automatically set to not for sale. If you'd like to continue selling your work, then please watch this video. And that way you can help staff sell your work for years to come. So let's begin. To start, we need to sign in. Go to rs.ca down here and scroll down to the bottom of the page. At the far right bottom corner, click on login right here. Here you can put your username or email, and then of course your password. I'll be using a made up account for this part of the video. So now you are logged in and you can see up here, it says you are logged in as, and then your name, and then you click right here, my account. Scroll to the bottom of your account page, and we're gonna look at my artworks. I'm going to switch to another um, artist profile to use as an example. So now we're on Kit Bell's um, member portal. We're going to start where I left off in video three on the My Artwork section here. And the My Artwork section is about managing your artwork inventory. This is a custom built piece of software and it is by far not completed yet, but we're going to make innovations in the future. So for example, if you see any duplicates of the same artwork, then check each piece and see if they are visible on our gallery website. But if both are showing, then hide one of them. Check your public profile by going here, view profile, right click, open link in new tab. And then this right here, this is the public profile. And you can make sure that there are no duplicates showing up over here. So let's go back. If you want to narrow down your selection, you can click on these tabs, all for sale or sold, to see which are for sale, which are sold, or if you want to see all of them. So let's use an example um, of a piece marked as not for sale and see uh, what changes we can make to mark it as for sale. So once we've clicked on a piece, a new window will show up with that of the artworks information. You may uh, want to add more information into the description here that you think our sales team could use to sell your work. Going down further, here's where you can click available for sale, not for sale if you want to keep it that way or sold. You can change the price of your piece. And if your piece is now framed, you can click here, includes frame and put the frame size. This is an unframed piece, so we leave it that way, but please include the weight. This is important because um, it affects the box, uh, which means it will affect the price of shipping. Our software includes the price of shipping, so make sure to update the section for all of your artworks that are for sale. So in the visible section, this allows you to show or hide your work from the gallery website and your artist profile. Maybe you have some past work that doesn't represent the body of work that you are producing now. Then instead of deleting the piece altogether, you can simply just hide it by clicking on the hide gallery website. If you have a piece you want to show on the gallery website, but the computer isn't allowing you, just like this, then that could mean one of two things. Your artwork was in a chapter exhibition that opts out to not be in the Federation website, or your work was in a non-juried exhibition. Our works that were in a juried exhibition shown in the Federation Gallery website will be able to be shown after the exhibition on our website. Under the Federation Gallery settings, this is where you can help clients find your work easier. So remember in the second video where I showed you how clients can find your work in the gallery website, this is where you make those changes. So let's have a quick look at that section in the gallery. So we're at the gallery website page, this is the front page. And when we scroll down right here, this is browse our collection. This is where you can make changes on the back end so our uh, clients can find your artwork. So this area, you can create those settings. Make sure that your description matches well. So for example, if a client wants to see some landscapes and what shows up is a still life, that's gonna be a bit of an annoying thing for the client. So please make sure that you are being selective so that the still life 
doesn't come up. So um, if your content has landscape, nature, and an animal, then those three work perfectly. And then you can choose your style. If it's a fine art, abstractive, um, figurative, surrealism, click any one of these. And the category, if it's a painting, a sculpture, a drawing, printmaking, a collage. And here at the very bottom, additional contents. Now, this is the part where you can go into specifics. So if a client wants to find a painting of a specific animal, then you can put the species names here. So when they are searching in the gallery website over here, and they go to Fine Art for Sale, and then they type in a specific animal, such as a cat, for example. So as you see here, we have a picture of a dog, a picture where there is no cat, um, definitely not a cat here or here. And so we wanna be able to narrow these down so then clients see paintings that actually do contain the animal species that they typed in, for example. So let's go back to the portal. So this is not uh, the staff going through there and making a judgment call on your picture. This is the computer's interpretation of what your image is. So Kid Bell could have put all of these uh, tags in or it could have been the computer. The computer does give you some suggestions down here. But the computer may have made a mistake or could have made it easier for you by adding what you would like to have put there yourself. So um, if the computer suggestions are good, then add them. But sometimes none of the suggestions are accurate or helpful to help the sales team make the sale of your artwork. So just don't add them. So let's add this. Add of this. So this is where you can see all your work and make changes to them. As well, this button here, Combine Duplicate Artworks, is a feature that is coming soon, but is not yet available, as it says right here. So you can just ignore that. So um, if you want to see all the changes you've made, and you've made a couple of changes down here, then click on View Profile, right click on that, open link in tab. And you'll be able to see your public profile and all the changes you've made down here. And that's about it. So I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to call or email membership at artist.ca. And thank you for watching.